Hello, I'm Ville Vainio. I'm going to take you through a very quick Leo introduction. So here I have a quick start.leo open. I opened it from here. Help and open quick start.leo. Okay, and you can do that on your computer as well. So first I'm going to show you some outline operations. You can, when you are first approaching Leo, you should approach it as a basic outliner without much concern for programming. That's one of the easier ways to get started. Okay, so here I have a tree. I can navigate around in with cursor keys. Click right to open the three nodes here. And these nodes where we have this small blue circle mean, uh, means a node that has some text inside the body. Uh, here I have just an empty node that just has presence on the tree. So if I write something here, I see the blue, blue rectangle, rectangle appearing. Okay, so now I am adding more stuff to the tree. I press Ctrl I to insert a node. Uh, I write the root here. Then I make another row, node. I'm calling it child. And to actually make it child of the root, I'm pressing Ctrl R. R stands for right. Ctrl L moves it back left, and so on. You can also use Ctrl U to move up, and Ctrl D to move down, but they are not that useful. Okay, so I'm creating another root node here. Then I'll move this side there, so I cut it, Ctrl Shift X. Okay, and then I move it here, and Ctrl Shift V to paste. So basically it's the same Ctrl C, Ctrl V thing as you do normally with your clipboard, but this time you also press Shift. Okay, then I move it right. Okay, now I have it here. Okay, so that's the basic navigation. And now to take a quick look at how we would be dealing with files, actually to generate files on the file system. So under the programming, I have this starting point. Let's look at the tin nodes first. So path is the directory where the file will appear. And then I have uh, this root node for the file. So I have two at characters here, uh, which means that it's sort of commented out. So I'm removing the first character. And by the way, I pressed Ctrl H to move to the headline editing mode. I forgot to show it to you last time. Okay, so now when I save, you can see that, okay, it created my file underscore tin dot pi file. And it created it based on this tree structure. So as you can see, there are headlines and then they have some comment. So the file is structured in that fashion. Okay, and now let's take a look at how the actual file looks like. I right clicked on the node and do edit. I wonder, okay. So here is the file. Uh, you see the tree structure here. These are called sentinels. And um, they have the headline contents and they also represent the tree structure inside the external file. So I can basically edit something here. In init one, and then I move back to the node. Where was it? It was here. Okay, no, it's, it isn't shown here yet. So I have to refresh from disk to actually read the file back. Okay, and here I have it. But usually you are not supposed to edit the or you typically won't edit the external file directly. You will be editing it in Leo most of the time. Okay, so that was the tin directive. Uh, I won't look at other external files now, but instead I will show you what clones mean. So let's uh, consider that we have a Leo outline 
and we want to start studying something. We want to group some related nodes under one node, but still not break the overall Leo file structure. So I'll make a like study node here. Then I'll just take a look at some inter I'll find some interesting files somewhere. Okay, I think I might want to take a look at this in piece. So I'm marking it. I'm marking this as well. And I'll mark this with Ctrl M. Okay, then I go to the study and then I'll create the clones for those. So I'm pressing Alt X, which is Emacs like uh, mini buffer command and the command I'm going to use is clone marked. Right. Okay, this study one wasn't used, so it created a new node. I'll have it here. Okay, now now I have these files cloned here. And I can, for example, I can add a, let's add a new child here. Uh, okay. And as you can see, uh, also the clone has the same structure. And I can delete this Control Shift X which is also the cut command. So I'll delete this and now we won't see the clone character anymore. Uh, you saw that the clones had this little arrow here. We can delete the other clone. We see the normal icon again. Okay, so these are still marked. And to, I can delete all the marks by executing command unmark all. All right, so that was that stuff. Okay, and the next is uh, how to how to actually find your stuff in the tree. So uh, you can use this nav nav tab to execute the quick search. So I remember that there was auto somewhere. All right. So here I see the list of all the matches. This was a headline match. They are in bold. And under the auto nodes headline, uh, we have many hits. As it, and you can see that the hit is highlighted here. Okay, thank you.